Hello there, kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Kitty Powers' Matchmaker. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, you know, still pounding along uh, and uh, getting people matched up. And uh, we have the last two that we interacted with in our mailbox, so uh, let's see how they worked out. Let's go with the Dickenbert. Oh! They uh, got their own pad together. Awesome. Still an item and we've got our own pad together. We both really love cosplay. We're so happy I can easily live with his love of designer electronics. Like Apple. I told one or two little fibs, but I feel it was for the greater good. I'm letting everyone know how amazeballs you are. Please don't do that. Awesome. Okay. And hoping for two. Marcus Upsol. Hey, that was two. Nice. Corey and I are still in a relationship and sharing accommodation. Oh, God. Wait, I have to do the voice right. Greetings, Thomas. Corey and I are still in a relationship and uh, sharing accommodation. Now, if only I could talk right. We both enjoy spell books together. Our union is so total that I can easily abide his infatuation with singing badly. Boy. It feels like that's a hit against me. I recall telling one or two lies, but it was in both our interests. Our happiness levels are high and still increasing. Okay. Gods, I hate doing that voice. All right. Let us do another couple. And hopefully it will be the last one we have to do to get to level seven. Wasting time on the interweb. Hey! Ah. That is me <laughs> to a T. It's not necessary. How dare you come after me. All right. Go for you. You've been sitting there for a while. Oh, you're Maddie and a mechanic, and you're looking for a woman. Yay! My gaze. Wonderful. Greetings. My name is Maddie. I'm a mechanic, and I'm looking for a woman. I'm interested in martial arts, history, documentaries, and horror movies. That is a hell of a combo there. <laughs> All right. Preference for gray eyes and black hair. All right. Describe myself as methodical and spicy. Okay. Methodically spicy. Okay. They're a bit of an edgy type, aren't they? A bit. A bit. Okay, let's see. Harmony Underborn. That's a name. Uh, they're medium. Okay. Uh, they don't like the look of each other. That's okay, I guess. Keeping tropical fish, death metal music, and bungee jumping. There we go. And we don't know personality types. Mm. Probably not. Probably not harmony here. Madison Hempfell. All right. Well, you like her hair. I remember that much. Uh, October 2nd Libra. That doesn't match up. But it's not like it's going to matter all that much anyway. Art gallery manager might... Might work? Maybe. Beta software, geocaching, and share prices. Oh, so she's rich. Okay. <laughs> you know, now that I say that, she's kind of dressed like it. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. And we don't know personality yet. Uh, we could probably change her hair to match what she wants. Just make it more blonde, even though I think you're killing it with that look. Alright, let's try it. Okay. Watch the envelopes. Just gonna see how it works out. I don't even care which envelope it is. Why is it when I don't care? That's a it's fancy American. choice. Alright, let's uh, go with, was it blonde or light brown? Hmm. Um, it's light brown, actually. Looks like it anyway. Hmm. Yep, hmm. that's right. Yep, it was right, good, okay. Whoo, I was hoping that was the case. All right, um, there we go. 
we're gonna go. Sorting men from boys. Well, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> More affluent a client is. The blah, 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 blah. Decent weather. I hope they are compatible. Wow. Here's hoping. Oh, dear. You have it. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Madison. Mm. Certainly, and you must be Maddie. <laughs> Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Mm. <laughs> One's very punctual, isn't it? Mm. Isn't one. What? Are you talking like Yoda-ish? A little bit? It's weird. Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. <laughs> this yeah. restaurant seems extremely pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Affirmative, I would tend to agree with that conclusion. <laughs> Your black hair is giving me a pleasant sensation. It's entirely natural, you know. <laughs> Your light brown hair is thoroughly entrancing. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me this information. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, not mine. Mine's gonna last forever. Just not this long. <laughs> Good evening. Can I take your order? I'll have to recognize you later, probably. <laughs> Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Mm. Perhaps a hot dish with no meat. Mm. I never eat meat products. I'm a vegetarian. Uh. Definitely no dairy products. I'm on a diet. Oh. Hot with no meat. Can't go wrong with french fries. <laughs> I will require two rations of french fries, please. <laughs> Very wise choice. Mm, sounds divine. <laughs> yes, it does. I am in full agreement. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this one goes. Ah. Uh, horoscope's gonna go badly. Let's go clothing. <laughs> what is your analysis of my outfit? <laughs> It looks really rather nice. I appreciate your kind compliment. Comment? I appreciate your kind comment. I can speak English, really, I can. So, does one like my outfit? Yeah, it's not bad. It is exactly medium. Let's change the subject, shall we? I mean. Yeah, it's a. Big gaudy, honestly. <laughs> anyway, the love handle. Let me just go with. Hmm. You're really intent on making me do horoscope, aren't you, game? Right, hmm. Interest. Apparently, you have an interest in. Uh, share prices. <laughs> Why, yes, actually, I love share prices. I dislike it. Mm. I'm having trouble visualizing any pleasure in that. Oh. Are you always this forthright? Mm. Uh, <laughs> and what might your interest? Mm. What might you be interested in? Uh, history document documentaries. I can't talk. Ah, documentaries. <laughs> I have an interest in history documentaries. Can't you tell by my annoyingly nasally voice? Mm. One doesn't find it that exciting. Mm. You're clearly not in the know. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh no. The one I'm not good in because it relies a good portion on luck. Mm. Oh, okay. Continuing the clench. Mm. Ah, here. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Mm. Lower. Oh. I say, what's that foul stench? Mm. It was me! Mm. I must report that it was I that emitted the gas cloud. Mm. Great Scott, it smells like something died in there! <laughs> Self-esteem levels are at zero percent. Uh, you might as well own up to it if you fart. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Okay? If you... <laughs> if it happens, it happens. You just kind of got to go with it, all right? <laughs> all right, organization. When cleaning the house, do you clean thoroughly or do you just do the obvious bits? Mm. Oh. No. This is going bad. This is going very badly. 
Mm. How Ignore this. You do know what that means, don't you? No. <laughs> I don't hear it often enough. Now I have to check. Alrighty. Uh, a deep-seated feeling of dislike aversion for antipathy. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, this, yeah, like I said, this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going good. This is not going well at all. Mm -hmm. Shall we settle up? I predict the waiter will be located in the immediate vicinity. Oh. I have only a vague memory of the waiter's features. <sighs> uh, it was Peggy, obviously. You can't really ignore that dude. That hairdo is uh, <coughs> hard to ignore. Sorry for the delay. Here's your bill. You have our gratitude. Lucky you'd remember what they'd look like. I'd totally forgotten. My memory banks are functioning at normal levels. I say, is it that time already? Yes, we should depart now. Well, this didn't happen. They do not fulfill the criteria at all. Let's just be Reject friends. them if you know it just won't work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> a platonic relationship is the only viable option. <laughs> I'm not exactly heartbroken. <laughs> you have the social ability of a warthog. <laughs> well, so much for friends. <laughs> Date rejected. I must locate a more suitable candidate. It just wasn't our time. Or any time. <laughs> Well, I didn't win or lose anything, so it's just, uh. it's a dating roguelike. No, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Let's try again with a different person. There is at least five more candidates. <laughs> Madison was totally illogical. Sure. Oh, there's four more. Okay. Let's look. Uh, Mavis Masterwood. Huh? Again, another Libra, but that's fine. Mediation Therapist. Hmm. Photobombing, online shopping, extreme sports. Okay. Uh, you might as well go blonde. Be easier to do. Um... Uh, Let's check some of our other ones. Scaffolder. Scorpio. No matches here. Although knife throwing can coincide with martial arts a little bit. But that's the only m good mix I see there. Um, Harmony. We already looked at her. Penny Balfrey. A Virgo. Well, the Virgo and Taurus mesh nicely. An estate agent. Prefers white hair. She had white hair. Huh. Halloween, Elven Kingdom, special makeup effects. Let's go with this. Again, I'm not going to pay attention. I don't care. Somehow we're going to end up with the American one anyway. No! I got the German the Sausage one. Factory. How exotic. The Sausage Factory. German. Yay. Okay, so let's go back to white. There we go. Bring you back to the hair you had when you came in, girl. Good. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Let's get this date started. Huh? Eventually, I'm going to have a softer cup. Or softer... Cover to my desk, I'm not sure. Ah, fine-looking eating establishment this is. The Sausage Factory. Oh, boy. Uh, of course. Mm. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Penny. <laughs> she does look like a Penny with that red hair, doesn't she? Or maybe that's because I'm used to fucking... Stardew Valley, where Penny is a redhead there, too. Yes, I am. You must be Maddie. Mm. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Mm. You're right on time. Mm. Unnecessary mm. delay would be highly undesirable. Mm. Ooh, this place is very fancy. Mm. It is arguably in the top percentile. Mm. 
I do love your white hair. I appreciate you giving me this information. <clears> hmm. <throat> la 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 la. You are the most plain looking waiter we've had yet. Good evening. May I take your order? <laughs> Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Mm. I'd some, like something cold with white meat. Cold with white meat. Oh, joy. I have no idea. Cold with white meat. Uh. Ganze uh. Roast goose. Um. That's gonna be hot. Sour. F Sour fleisch. Sour fleisch. Would that be. That'd be cold. Or sauerkraut is cold. Let's check. Uh, Jellied pork, onion, and greens served cold. Pork is white meat. Let's try it and hope for the best. <laughs> I will require two rations of sour flesh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. Oh, Jesus. Yes, it does. I am in full agreement. They're hungry for love. Thank you for my minimal understanding of German. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's hoping that it continues. Mm. All right, let's look at organization. Mm. When cleaning up cupboards, do you mm. label everything mm. or throw it all in a bin bag? Mm. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, thank you, merciful Jesus. This is going off to such a better start. Label everything. So how about you? Definitely label everything. Aren't we the organized pair? Our agreement is total. <clears throat> Dinner is served. Is it just me or does he look a bit like Ross from the Game Grumps? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe. Uh-oh. Someone's using the stairs. Anyway, let's pull the love hand. Well, I mean... Organization went well. Let's try spiciness. Mm, mm. You pick up a book in the <laughs> you pick up a book in the shop and find a racy part. Mm. Do you put it back in disgust mm. or buy mm. the se the book and the sequel? Mm. Good question. Probably mm. <laughs> buy the book and the sequel. Oh my gods! We have found mm. the almost gotta be perfect match here. So how about you? Mm. Definitely buy the book and the sequel. Mm. You're a real hot tamale. I like, I like. Mm. Our agreement is total. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right, Maddie. How's it going? Oh. Look, it is my ex-partner. Mm. Hmm, I wonder who this could be. Mm. I am rational and logical as per usual. How are you? Mm. Oh, you know me. Same old, same old. Mm. Anyway, I got to go now. Nice to see ya. Tara. Tara. Tata. Should be correct. I am in agreement with that sentiment. Goodbye. So, who was that? Ah, uh, it's the ex. It is my ex. We have not met for a long time. That's nice that you're still friendly. Yes, we are both reasonable human beings. Oh my god. That could have gone so bad. Ooh. All right. Hey. Facial decor, okay. Hey. Have you any thoughts on my eleganza makeup? I just don't really like that look, unfortunately. Uh. You do yourself no favors with that attitude. Hmm. Do you like my clear complexion, then? Oh. Me? No comment. Uh. Oh, right then. Mm -hmm. Can you ring me a taxi? My phone is dying. Yeah. Affirmative. Waiter, do you know the number of a taxi company? <clears throat> hey, Ross. La, 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 la. Yes, I do. Are you ready? I, I'm not even going to try Ross's accent. I mean, don't even, don't even believe I will even try. Uh. The number is 909-6424. Oh. I can do this because my job requires me to know numbers. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, my work yeah. <laughs> finally came out ahead on something and helping me. Whoo! You know, it's, you know, outside of financial. <laughs> it 
That's it. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Thanks very much. You're so kind. <laughs> Providing assistance is both expedient and efficient. You could get a job in telesales. I could, actually. Hmm. I suppose we could call it a night. <laughs> that would be most rational. <laughs> well? They fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Uh, let's go for it. So, would you like to be my significant other? <laughs> yes, you pushed all the right buttons. <laughs> excitement overload! Excitement overload! <laughs> Aww. So cute. <laughs> Alrighty. And that should push us up into the next level. I'm delirious with happiness. It's a dream come true. Damn right. <laughs> Bottle washer. I'm sorry, what? I'm the what a what? Want to try that again? Okay. Making last minute adjustments. Okay. Well. You're moving on up. Yay! What a treasure you are. Thank you. Time to expand the agency again. Yay! Oh, we got a satellite and a chimney. <gasps> And we unlock another personality trait. Uh, tradition, activity, or social? Let's go. Go tradition. Sure. I'm always keen to know if my date likes shiny modern things or has a more vintage taste. Yeah. I'd kind of like to know too. All right, I, I can stand. I can understand that. Let's look at the shop now. Got some salon things. Oh, the cheap gift shop. Hmm. Honestly, if anything, I was probably going to get a uh, stylist, but. Hmm. I guess I just don't have the money. A black book? I should probably go for another page. Yeah, there we go. That should work out beautifully. All right. Pardon me. <laughs> I was trying to uh, keep that burp as quiet as possible. But my body decided, fuck you, I'm going to make it as loud as possible. All right, I managed to get at least a little bit, uh, a little bit under. Okay, so. Mm. All right. Don't understand mm. why I'm given the map option. Oh, well. Drink more of my coffee and up here. Hi, I'm Ferris. I'm an estate agent and I'm looking for a woman. Alrighty. Alrighty. Ferris P word. Okay. I am an estate agent and I'm looking for a woman. Alright, fair enough. I'm interested in collecting old books, chemistry sets, and beta software. Beta software. We ran into someone who was into beta software not that long ago, actually. And I have a preference for brown hair and for brown eyes and blue hair, rather. I was screwing that up. I was screwing it up into a direction that would have made more sense for me. I'm methodical, traditional, and spicy. Fair enough. Can you locate a suitable love match? They're You'll definitely try. a geeky type. Oh, yeah, they are. You can fucking tell by the pocket protector they have. It's obvious. All right. Um, no one with blue hair. Let's look through. Scaffolder. Um, you like his brown eyes. Hmm. Don't know much else about you. Like goth music, magic wands, and pet snakes. Edgy. Edgy type. Whew. Whew. 
Uh, I am burpy. I apologize. I have no idea where it's coming from. Uh, Carolee Hemp Foam. I was trying to say Hemp Foam. But no, Hemp Foam works better. I guess. And a Libra, which means that they're star signs match at least. An art gallery manager. Okay, let's see. Funky home furnishings, colorful skinny jeans, and knife throwing. That is a hell of a combo. You like her brown eyes. Going to the aquarium, taxidermy, and night clubbing. Astrological signs don't match, but she's a circus ringmaster. That is a, that is a hell of a job. Um, Elise Donkeyham. Elise Donkeyham. All right. Sure. Okay. Why not? Why not that name? Uh, you know what? We'll try it anyway. Uh, we'll dye your hair red. That'll work. Jerk King, how exotic. Right. Exotic is the word I would have went for. Okay, so let's make your red. There we are. Good enough. That was what you were looking for, absolutely. So, let's go. Drink my coffee now. Alert, alert, nervousness... Oh, God. Alert, alert, nervousness levels rising. Oh, boy. And it was raining. <laughs> God damn it. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Elise. <laughs> yeah, you must be Ferris, eh? <laughs> Most gratifying to make uh, your acquaintance. <laughs> you got here bang on time. Oh, God. <laughs> Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. <laughs> this place looks all right, doesn't it? Oh, God. Why am I doing that? Affirmative. I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Why am I doing that? Your ocular organs are a pleasing hue. Cheers, that's well nice. Look into my eyes. Okay. Your air's nice and red, eh? I appreciate you giving me this information. <clears throat> eh, okay. Good evening. May I take your order? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Mm. I think I want something hot with fish. Mm. I ate spicy food and all. Uh, Aki and salt fish. Is that spicy? Uh. Aki fruit and uh. salted cod dish. It's spicy. So, obviously not curry goat. She wanted something with fish. Uh, let's go with that. I, would, I will require two rations of ackee and salt fish, please. A wonderful choice. Great, sounds lovely. Yes, it does. I am in full agreement. Agreement. Pull the love handle. And let's try occupation. Please tell me your occupation, Elise. <laughs> I'm a circus ringmaster for me since. <laughs> Dude, don't don't piss on the date this early on. Come on. <laughs> don't piss on it now. Ah! <laughs> How about fucking well, I can't. Out. Right. How incredibly impressive. I think they're telling porkies. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we were. Let's try spiciness. If going out for the evening, would you rather go to a poetry reading or go to a burlesque show? Oh, hang on, let me think. Okay, we got that going for us. Go to a burlesque show. Mm. What about you then? 
definitely go to a burlesque show. <laughs> this could get interesting, eh? Yeah, yeah. Our thoughts are synchronous. <clears throat> right. Ahem, can I interest you in something from the dessert trolley? <laughs> oh, I don't know, I shouldn't, but... Oh, go on then. <laughs> Very good, I shall fetch the trolley immediately. <laughs> I did not factor in the appearance of a dessert trolley. <laughs> wow, it looked well nice. <laughs> Cappuccino, not a dessert. That's a dessert. That's not a dessert. That's a dessert. Okay, <clears throat> so, which of our handcrafted desserts can I interest you in? <laughs> that dessert, that's not a dessert. That third dessert looks well scrummy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did it in that voice. I fucked it up. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care at this point. I, I've been doing too many voices. Affirmative, it is clearly the most nutritious dessert available. Oh. I have had a memory leak. Which one was the third dessert again? It was the tea. It is not a dessert. <laughs> we require one ration of tea, please. <laughs> Inspired choice. Ooh, can't wait to get me gob around that. Your gob? <laughs> Their dessert choice was completely predictable. Literally, no, it wasn't. <laughs> All right, and here we go. <laughs> Interest. Uh -huh. okay. oh. Apparently, you have an interest in... Uh, uh, going to the aquarium. Uh, <laughs> going to the aquarium? Yeah, flippin' love going to the aquarium. Oh. Me? Uh, I've never tried this thing you speak of. <laughs> you want to give it a go yourself sometime? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. So, what do you like doing? Oh. Um... Chemistry sets? Uh, mm -hmm. I have an interest in chemistry sets. Mm -hmm. Don't really do nothing for uh, me. Mm -hmm. You're clearly not in the know. <clears throat> At least it went me mm -hmm. instead of badly. Here is your bill. I hope you enjoyed your mm -hmm. meal. What, am what amount should we tip the restaurant employee? <laughs> Why do I keep getting the cheap fox? Really? Five percent? Really? Really? I threw my headset on the floor. That was the thunk. What the fuck? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why is it always cheap bastards why 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 putting my headset back on but i'm not happy about it <clears throat> all right five percent five fucking percent fuck it <sighs> all right five percent of that will be ten percent be fucking I don't even know god damn it god damn it five fucking percent five fucking percent gotta be kidding me gotta be fucking kidding me five percent you fucking troglodyte Okay. That was kind of what I was leaning towards. <laughs> yeah. Here's the... Whoa, my headset turned way the fuck up. Um, okay. That might have been it. Here is the agreed upon monetary bonus. <laughs> okay. Blimey, you're well brainy, ain't ya? Yeah, and you're <laughs> well cheapy, you fucking wackadoo. My brain is functioning at normal levels for a genius. Right. Mm. Time to go home then, really. Ah. That would be <laughs> most rational. Ah. Alright. Ah. I find ah. them relatively attractive. Uh, 
fucking seeing it. <laughs> Do you envisage a further meeting? Mm, dunno, let me think. <laughs> Go on, it would be entirely rational. <laughs> oh, okay then. Let's see what happens. Five <laughs> percent. Are you fucking? I'm going to end the episode here for right now before I lose my fucking shit. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And I'm getting madder and madder at these people for wanting to give 5% tips to these people who are waiting on them. That's fucking ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, helping couples find love in the meantime. While I'm really, really hoping this one doesn't technically work out, because what a cheapskate for you.